Hello, my wonderful people. I greet you all. Oh. Good morning to you all. Oh. And uh, I welcome you all to this uh, early Thursday morning broadcast. My name still never changes. Now, Mandy and Eze, speaking from the platform of Okute Daily Talk. Oh. I come in peace with also a touch of anger in my heart. Why am I angry this morning? My spirit was, was, was provoked. Seeing uh, the kind of comments and the backlash I received from people who, who are the followers of uh, Epa or Simon or whatever his name is. You see, uh, I said it before and I have to make it clear again that my, my words always comes like a prophecy. But later it will manifest. I have made it clear to each and every one of us. I might not be a prophet, but I see something. When I come on this, my platform, I made it clear, not once, not twice, even not to tomorrow, to the extent that uh, uh, people be, uh, start to uh, backlash me, I mean, saying all sorts of things against me, even to the extent of reporting my, my uh, YouTube page or channel to the YouTube uh, company, that uh, why must I be only tackling Epa all the time? But I know what I see. But that thing I saw is something that, my dear, there's an adage in any language that said, in your case, no, nana, or in your case, you or do you that a child, even if that child climb, climbs a hero tree, he can never see it. I saw it coming. I said, Ekpa, or whatever he calls his name, is not working for Biafra. Ekpa is not working for Mazin Namdekano. I keep shouting this in all the time as if, hammering on it day in, day out. And I get bashing all the time, backlash comments when people call me fool, a flavor for sabotua, uh, ife juna, ife juna, ife ju, and the rest of them. If you cannot believe what I said, that Martin Namdekano has called off sit at home since, you cannot believe the the broadcast of Kano Takano, the immediate younger brother to Martin Namdekano, about the end of to sit at home for how many years now? If you cannot believe uh, the written note of Martin Namdekano that he gave to a lawyer Jimakon, his special counsel, then I am very sure you can believe this oldest man, I mean, he's a Biafran army. He fought the Biafran army. I, I mean, uh, the Biafran war. He's a Biafran uh, military. Chief Dan Olasi. Chief Dan Olasi visited Martin Namdekano. If you cannot uh, okay uh, the video is too long it's almost one hour plus i will bring it to this uh, to attach it to this news but go to sound bite sound bite aic kakati kakaki or what they call it channel type uh a uh, visit of uh uh chief dan or Lash to dss he went to see him as in the canon and uh, he made it categorically clear categorically clear to Dan Olasi, that he have long called for him to sit at home, and also tell Dan Olasi to please help him make it clear to the Southeasterners that him, Mazin Namdekano, have been there suffering. This one is the second time of him going to the DSS. He was arrested 2015 and uh, released 2017. Again, 2021, they got him arrested, and he is there for the people of Southeast. For betterment of that area, not to destroy the economy of that area or to kill people. But when you said it, all these people that call themselves graduates that have no brain, graduates that can't even make a complete single statement that is correct, graduates that even uh, to comment yourself is problem for them, they don't, can't even write their name complete. They are the one that will come to your comment section and begin to fire you simply because what Ekpa told them, they have been, they have been hypnotized. For them not to use their own brain again, do your own research. Ekpa, I said it earlier, is never working for Martin Namdekano. As a matter of fact, Ekpa is working for Nigerian government. Forget about the people who raised the, the, what they call it, the motion at the Senate to extradite Ekpa. Ask me, Martin Namdekano called off the seat at home since far back of 2021. Over one year plus, why the government of Nigeria have not bothered about what is happening in the Southeast? The people who raised that motion is, uh, uh, what they call him? Um, Osita. 
It's in our song. It's a Senate from Imo State. All the outsiders that are there, all those ones that are fighting, oh, Martin Nam Kano must be brought back to Nigeria. Uh, 50 million naira, 500 million naira bounty on his head. Anybody that can capture him, dead or alive. They keep saying all this, but none of them have ever raised an issue to extradite uh, uh, Epa. None of them. Not even the during the time of the uh, Buhari regime. That means there is something hidden behind this. In forcing it at home, whereby people are dying, they're killing the economy of the Southeast, and everything that happened during the course of it at home, they were attributed to IPOM and ESN, and it keep on complicating the matters of Martin Nam Nikano at the DSS uh, 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 dungeon. When you said, imagine you claiming to be a, a disciple of Martin Nam Nikano, and at the same time, assume the office of a prime minister. Outrightly, okay. Let me make it clear to to uh, uh, people, the APA followers. I am not signing anybody. Listen to me, I am not signing anybody, but I am here to state the obvious. He is the prime minister. As such, he has every right to travel to any country of his choice as a prime minister. Just like a Sunak of a UK, the prime minister of a UK, he has a touch of a India on his blood. As a matter of fact, he's an Indian. If Sunak stay in the London or wherever he finds himself as a prime minister and say anything against the India or say anything uh, concerning the Indian, he can travel to India. Nobody will detain him. He's a prime minister. The only thing that the, the, the India will do is that they will write to the UK uh, parliament and they will settle it uh, on a, a neutral ground, not to arrest that person. So, Emma, please. You are the prime minister. You have all this power to go anywhere. Nobody will disturb you or arrest you. You need to come back to Nigeria and go and go in line and agitate for Martin Nam Dekano's release. Not doing it on the social media. No. You are no more ordinary EPA. You are the prime minister. And people keep on saying, God bless prime minister. You are doing the right thing. You are doing the wrong thing. Whereby, no any single, uh, what they call it, a freedom fighter that have ever imprisoned their own people. That ever destroyed their own people. That ever killed their own people. Any freedom fighter is fighting government, not fighting his own people. But you claim to be a, a prime minister and a, one week uh, from one day to at home, four days to at home, one week now, you are carrying two weeks. And after two weeks now, you tell them, we are going to go straight for one month. Who are you trying to deceive? All in the name of, you are fighting for Martin Nam Dekano. The person you are fighting for have already made it clear to you. Even sent a letter, a written note, and said, please, enough is enough. Do not stop this uh, uh, sit at home. At least, let, him, let me know where I'm facing and who is fighting against me. You said, no. That even in now, uh, unless Martin Nandekano is come out and come to meet you at uh, Finland, that is when you will stop sit at home. And people are clapping for him. Nobody cares to ask, why must he say a thing like that? You are trying to complicate the issue of a dying man. And you say, well, let that person die complete. That is when you will know that, yes, you have completed your mission. People that are using smartphones that don't even have time to do what? To make their own research. Only listening for, to a vagabond far away Finland. Causing havoc in the southeast. Claiming he's fighting for Mazenam the Khan, whereby the government of uh, uh, the government of Nigeria have paid him to destroy it so that to make sure that the case of Martin Nam the Khan at that uh, DSS or be, with the Nigerian government will be complicated. Anything now, everything that got to do, imagine everywhere now they go to red in the southeast now. They will, because uh, Biafran flag is not expensive, you cannot buy white cloth, paint it uh, red, uh, um, uh, green, and whatever, and they uh, draw a star on it. Anybody can do that. They will carry their flag, go there. Oh, we have read the iPod and ESL camp. They drop it there, take photo and post. But they, 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 all these people that are doing this, they keep on telling us, hey, we kill uh, Magabu, uh, Zagasola Makama in the Zamfara, Brunu, uh, Yola, uh, Niger Republic at the border. They kill all these ones. They kill the commander of uh, Boko Haram. None of them can even see even a common picture of it. But all of them are going with that mission with complete smartphones. But anybody read it, a uh, 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 hideout of criminals, petty thieves. The next one you will see that I pop, that the one, uh, they are doing this, we have erected their camp. I said this in earlier. 
If Egba is truly really working for Mazinam de Kano or working for Biafrance, the seat at home have been hijacked. Stop it. He said no. Mazinam de Kano sent his brother, he said no. Uh, Ejimako uh, uh, said his own, he said no. Unless Mazinam de Kano come out. No, maybe he have to come out in spirit. Then come to meet you in a, what they call it, in a Finland. And uh, then tell you, my brother, stop the seat at home. You all that keep on backlashing me, you all that keep on attacking me from left, right, and center simply because I said something about uh, uh, against uh, Eba. Go to AIT Kakaki, listen to Chief Dan Olasi. If everybody can say, go to the uh, national uh, television to lie, I'm very sure that that Biafra soldier who fought for this Biafra that we all are fighting now, he will not be on that national TV to make such claims or lie against anybody. By the invitation of Martin Dan Decano, he went there to see Martin Dan Decano and got so kind, as God may have it, the DSS allowed him to, 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 to have a one-on-one -on -one talk with Martin Dan Decano. And he told him everything. He let him know that this guy is really working against me and working against the people of Bia France. He, he one, to, tomorrow, even the people that are attacking me, they will still listen to that video and they come out and tell you it is fake. Maybe they will call it a doctored video. Or maybe, maybe they'll call it, and uh, that one is being done by DOS or more powerful. Hear it and hear it clean clear. Egba is never working for the interests of Nigerians. Sorry, of Biafrans. If you truly believe in the, in the Biafran struggle, how then he went out there to go and contest for election in another man's country? A fairness citizen called himself a lawyer for that matter. And he assumed the office of a prime minister. Outrightly. Prime minister, nobody will tell you anywhere where you go. Come back to Nigeria and as for Martin Nam Nekano. Go to the GSS there and let them know that enough is enough. As a lawyer, you know your right. And nobody is going to trample upon your human rights. Nobody is going to trample upon being a prime minister of over 70 or 75 million people. Or, 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 or 75 million in Bia France. Yes. You are the prime minister. You have all the power. Immunity covers you so nobody will arrest you. We need you in Nigeria. Go to the DSS and Miss Martin Nandekano one on one, talk with him. As simple as that. No people keep on defending what is not defendable. We've been complaining about uh, Tunumbu and the rest of them. But look at the so called Ekpa. It's causing confusion in, 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 in Biafra land. Nobody cares to ask questions. Then if you say now, nah, they will just come out now. Hey, 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 Do your own research. I beg. Now here, I go to stop this talk. Let us go straight to the reason why we are here. As you are watching, as you are listening, I know more people will still attack me. No problem. I'm used to it. But do what? Have a rethink and do your own research before you attack. IPOP fires Ejimako. Ban him from speaking and representing Nam Dekano on IPOP matters. This one is totally for another day. Let us proceed with other ones. You can't stop probe of your administration. Abia government tells OKZ Ibazo. It is wrong, Shell Usani warns, as Nigeria reportedly cuts off electricity supply to Niger Republic. As if their own problem is not enough, they want to compound it with the Niger uh, uh, Republic uh, issue. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe, Tunumbu want to uh, invade, uh, what do they call it, Niger Republic, simply because he calls himself the ECOWAS chairman or president. <laughs> the general federal government palliative fraud. Obaseki bans NLC protests. The only governor that have come out and stand for this uh, protest that they are doing. Only the governor. Other ones is that uh, have a patient with it. No, people have to have patience. People have to have patience. But do you see the kind of, uh, what they call it, convoy the so-called president is going with it? All the whole convoys, they must have food tanks at their disposal. 60 vehicles for one person. 60 vehicles for one person. Causing traffic on Asokoro, Abuja, almost every morning by 8 a.m. when he's going to office. 60 vehicles. The same thing goes with the uh, Akbabio, the senior pre uh, president. He goes with the Abbas, the, 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 the speaker of the house, and other uh, parliamentaries. Hmm. Wahala, no, they finish. Yet, they want Nigerians to touch in their seatbelt. All those cars that they are driving, are they using uh, um, water on Abina kerosene that they use? No, no, before. Yeah. 
Anyway, my wonderful people, let us uh, continue with you. the main reason why we are here this morning. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. The general people of Biafra, I pop has sat down the canons council. A lot of I pop in a statement issued by each media and publicity secretary, a more powerful on Tuesday, announced that. Ejimako assists to represent Nam De Kano on IPOB matters. Ema Powerful said, The IPOB leadership and the DOS henceforth declared by Sir Ejimako a personal non grata. He must desist from parading himself as Martin Nam De Kano's counsel from this day. The press statement reads in full Simon Ekberima and his supporters are not the same. As followers of Martin Nam Kano, the general public should ignore Baris Aloysius Ejimako's falsehood on Arise TV. Uh, Arise TV. This one is coming from the iPod. We, the global family, and the movement of the general people of Biafra, iPod, led by, heavily led by Onyendo Martin Nam Kano, debunked the misinformation and live broadcasted on Arise Television on Saturday, 29 July of 2023, by Barrister. Aloysius Ejimako to the effect that Simon Eba supporters are the same as Martin Nam De Kano's followers. While we agree that some misguided supporters of Simon Eba are followers of Martin Nam De Kano, <clears throat> being under the illusion that Simon is working for the release of Martin Nam De Kano, in reality, however, the majority of his supporters as one enemies of IPOP who are working with Eba. To sabotage IPOP's effort at liberating our people from the evil contraption called the Zoological Republic of Nigeria and the release of Martin Nam De Kano from detention. For the avoidance of doubt, Simon Eba was never an IPOP member and has no alliance whatsoever with Martin Nam De Kano or IPOP because both, both are focused on the freedom of our land and people and have no business with criminality. The only remote connection is that he, Simon Epa, was talking about Biafra on his own platform, which Martin Nam De Kano saw in a positive light, having supported anyone or group genuinely agitating for Biafra, whether the person are IPOP member or not. Simon has uh, his group called Autopilot. He has his own government, which he announced himself as, the, as their prime minister. The question that the people must ask themselves is whether Martin Nam De Kano is part of Simon Eba's phantom government in exile. Of course, not because Martin Nam De Kano has said, said it time and again that our focus is to liberate our people who we then do who we then choose their leaders in a free free Biafrant and uh, therefore does does not and we have support any such nonsensical and imbecilic uh, government in exile. If Simon Epa is an IPOP member, Martin Nam De Kano, in the spirit of principle of command and control, will have sent the handwritten note to the head of the uh, director of the state of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Martin Mazi Cheka, it does him to discipline or sanction him. But because Simon is not an IPOP member, but a fake disciple, he, Martin Nam De Kano, has to write him directly. Barrister Jimako has no idea what IPOB is fighting for and does not know IPOB's modus operandi. That is why he attempted to export, export his lack of knowledge of the inner workings of IPOB and his confused state of mind to the general public. The general public is advised to ignore a confused, confused alloy Jimako and his false claims on Arise TV which are the product of a crass ignorance on his part. It is on record that Simon Epa has publicly maintained that his violent enforcement of the reckless sit at homes are to demonstrate that his so-called government in exile is in control of Biafra land. He, Simon Epa, has not attributed the infamous sit at home to Ipo, even though he is hiding under the pretense of seeking for Martin Nam De Kano's release to perpetrate his criminality in Biafra land. Lastly, he, Simon Epa, has stated categorically that he will not take orders from Martin Nam De Kano, who is in DSS dungeon. Therefore, for Barista Ijimako and any other person to insinuate or assume that Simon uh, Epa 
As any connection with Imagine Nam Nekano and IPOP is not only mischievous, but playing the script of his sponsors, which uh, we, the IPOP family, are very much aware uh, of because we know his antecedents. He never meant well for Imagine Nam Nekano, but only obeys with how he can use the, the position of special counsel for personal aggrandizement. Samuel Egbert's criminal supporters who carry out violent enforcement of the infamous sit at homes are neither working for Mazinam the Colonel nor for IPOB. These criminals, under the command of Simon Ekpa, claims to be ESN operatives during their violent enforcement just to blackmail IPOB and give the DSS, who recruited him, a ground to control the illegal incarceration of Mazinam the Colonel. Barrister Ejimako knows all this, uh, all these things, but being part of the grand plan to keep Mazen Nam the Colonel in detention. He came out to display his stupidity and show his sponsors that he is working. The help of the Director of State unequivocally called on the general public to ignore Barrister Jimakos' ignorant claims on Arise TV. Simon Epa is not, has never been, and will never be in any alliance or collaboration with Mazen Nam the Colonel and IPOB. Barrister Ejimako is just one of the lawyers contacted to handle specific cases for Mazen Nam Dekano. He is not and has never been, uh, for the avoidance of doubt, the legal representative of the indigenous people of Biafra as a movement. He is not an IPOB member. He has no reason to meddle into IPOB uh, operations beyond the special legal matters that he was contacted to handle. He has... Uh, no authority or permission from the IPOP Directorate of State to speak for IPOP outside the few legal matters assigned to him by Mazen Nam Dekano. IPOP is not a village organization, and we have uh, cautioned him several times to stop making a fool of himself in relation to this noble movement, and that he should stop using IPOP matters to cut deals with politicians. It is his uh, prerogative to enter into evil alignment with the infiltrators and saboteurs, but he should leave IPOP out of his uh, desperation to deliver to his uh, sponsors. Ejimako knows very well that Simon is a mole and an agent of the Nigerian government because he is an insider to the very well uh, to the DSS project Okutere and Simon Ekpa. Martin Namdekano would not have found the need to write the fake disciple and crime and the crime minister Simon Epa, if Barrister Jimako had done the needful months ago. In an, another vein, I public leadership, the DOS wants people and lawyers going about meeting politicians, businessmen and women, traditional rulers and religious leaders in Biafra land for any favor on behalf of IPOP to cease and desist or be called out publicly. More so, People should stop patronizing such impersonators. IPOP has appropriate channels to communicate with whosoever we want to contact. We also have uh, phone inquiry lines and social media handles in which the leadership of IPOP can be contacted. Finally, the public school, uh, the, okay, the public should ignore the claims of uh, Barry Sejimako on a Rice TV interview on July. It is completely false that Simon Epa and his supporters are the same as followers of Mazen Nam Dekanu. The IPOP leadership, the DOC sends forth, declares by the star, Ejimako a personal non grata. He must desist from parading himself as IPOP and Mazen Nam Dekanu counsel from this day. Coming from Comrade, a more powerful media publicity secretary for IPOP, this is more powerful. Anyway, I have nothing to tell you. Your own matter, day ground. I am just uh, waiting for the right time to speak because you have been taking more than you can chew. You can't stop probe of your administration. Abia, government tells Okizi Bazo. Abia state government are reacted to the ex parte order from Abuja stopping the probing of the past administration of former governor Okizi Bazo, saying that the court order will not stand. So, somebody, when they see finished, they will go to court and they say for ex parte order. Ah, hmm. uh, and you tell me that this is a country that wants to work. This is a country that wants to grow. But this is a country that wants to liberate people from poverty. When? Who? I mean, go ahead put that in. How? That somebody will, 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 will almost uh, thief the commonwealth of a state completely, leaving nothing behind. 
The next one, they will run to court and court will share them. The position of the state government was made known by the Commissioner for Information and Culture, OK, Kano, on Wednesday, while briefing newsmen in Omaha. The, the Commissioner, who faulted the former governor for going to Abuja to obtain an injunction stopping the panel of inquiry set up by the government or state government, described the moves as laughable. You see, um, once they set up panel, they will run to court and court will share them. <laughs> the state government, rather, said the person should have faced up and proved his innocence rather than seeking protection from, a, from a, an Abuja High Court. What they are trying to do now is just to delay this matter. What is ex parte Mote, you cannot arrest him, you cannot probe him. It will take years. An ex parte order was obtained by the former governor trying to stop the panel of inquiry from looking into activities of his eight-year tenure in office. An action, I believe, is laughable. I believe that if you are accused of infractions, the best thing to do is to face up to whatever it is to prove yourself innocent, as simple as that. But for the former governor to have shopped around for an order to stop the panel from operating leaves much, uh, operating leaves much to be desired. Going to Abuja to obtain an ex parte order from the High Court is an undue interference into the affairs of the state. And I can assure you that I don't think that that, that will stand, the commissioner said. Kano gave an insight that the government or the state government would also head to court to vacate the injunction. At the end of the day, our legal team will do the needful to vacate the order. It is not right and it is not. it does not show good thinking. A federal high court had on Monday granted an interim injunction stopping the panel pending the determination of the originating motion on notice. The injunction order presented the other governor and the panel of inquiries or inquiry for investigating the immediate past administration of Okizi Bazu. The case was brought before the court by C.C. Enuka, the counsel to Gabriel Onye Dilife, and others, we sought the order of the court to restrain the responder from inviting, summoning, interrogating, harassing, intimidating, arresting, detaining, seizing any property belonging to the applicants, their children, any member of their family, or any person connected to the applicant, in so far as it relates to the applicant's tenure as public office in the Abia state government pending the detention or determination of the originating notice. It is wrong signing once as Nigeria reportedly cost of electricity supply to Nigeria Republic, giving electricity to countries. Why you don't have electricity in your own country? Wow, what a shame and laughable. Former Kaduna Central lawmaker, Ayala uh, Adishay Usani, has uh, warned about the consequences that may follow the reported decision by Nigeria to cut off electricity supply to the general Republic in the wake of the military coup in the country. Sani, in a post via his Twitter account on Wednesday, said the move is wrong, adding that if Niger decides to build its own power station across uh, 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 River Niger, Nigeria's Kenji Dam will be rendered useless. <laughs> Everything that have advantage, they have disadvantage you. Nigeria recalls. Nigeria has a reportedly cut off the electricity supply for neighboring Niger Republic. The electricity organization of Niger, Neglek, was quoted to have said, the current power outage being experienced in the country is a result of Nigeria halting supply to its neighbor or northern neighbor. A BBC source also said the supply to Niger was cut off on Tuesday following a directive from the Nigerian presidencies. The transition or the transmission company of Nigeria has, however, declined to comment on the power call to Niger, according to Arise TV. Reacting to the development, Sani said, people of the Niger Republic should be allowed to, de to decide how they want their country governed, and Nigeria should avoid getting instigated by France to start an unnecessary war, and it will backfire on them. He wrote on Twitter, the reported Nigerian alleged tampering with electricity supply to the general public is wrong. We must use power supplies as means of political blackmail. It will not change anything. If Niger decides to build their power stations across their part of uh, River Niger, our Kenji Dam will be rendered useless. President Tunumbu and ECOWAS leaders should allow the people of Niger to decide 
on how they want their country to be governed. Don't be instigated by France to go for war that we don't need. When we had military regime, we fought to free ourselves. Let them make their decisions. According to Al-Haji Shehu Sani. Reject federal government palliative fraud. Obaseki backs NLC protest. The governor of Edo, Edo State, Godwin Obaseki, has uh, supported the Nigerian Labour Congress in its nationwide protest against the federal government over fair subsidy removal. Obaseki called on organized labor to tackle the federal government over palliatives it was planning to distribute to Nigeria to ameliorate the effects of fair subsidy removal. The governor said this on Wednesday during the NLC protest while addressing members of the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC in the state. He said his administration will disburse 500 million naira monthly to poor households in the state as palliatives to cushion the effects of the removal of fuel subsidy. Obasakiri affirmed his government's commitment to the welfare and well-being of workers and those and those people saying that his government will sustain efforts to reduce the suffering and hardship inflicted on the people by the federal government of nigeria he said the apc government has thrown us into this mess and we can't ignore this fact but as nigerians we will do something about it it may take time but we will prevail on may 1st this year i warn labor that we are likely to face the conditions and situation we face today. I warned you in that speech not to wait, but be proactive and plan ahead. Look at where we are today, according to Godwin Obaseki. We in Edo State, we do our own bit, and I have decided that every month going forward, we will take 500 million naira from our money to give to the poorest of the poor in Edo State. I want to alert you to reject the palliatives they want to give you. It is a continuation of the fraud that the federal government has always uh, undertaken against the people of Nigeria. The so-called money for palliatives should be given to the local government, which is closer to the people to take care of their people. Now, local government is better when they make a hear word. You can't buy grain from Abuja because the money to transport it alone is enough to take care of the people. We should stop this palliative fraud in Nigeria. I call on the Nigerian Labour Congress to reject the federal government and palliatives. Let them give local government money to give to the people. And the federal government doesn't have any business buying grants and palliatives to be distributed across the 774 local governments in Nigeria. We must stop this fraud. We are suffering too much in Nigeria. And the federal government is insensitive to the plight of the people. In a just state, we are labor friendly and have increased our minimum wage two years ago to 40,000 naira. The situation was not as bad as it is today. We took that step. We know that workers are suffering and need to do something about it. And the tech home pay can't take workers home anymore. Commending the workers to their re resilience, the governor stated, I thank you for the peaceful protest and as citizens, you have every right to protest against any issue you are not happy about. As you are acting on your constitutional rights, we support the action of the NLC that your wages must reflect the current reality. I received your letter and we send it to the president of the Fulani government of Nigeria, according to Godwin Obaseki of Edo State. You love the openings as white dogs. Minority leader tackles a lack at the ministerial uh, uh, screening. Somebody who called uh, uh, the, the, the opponent white dogs, I mean Nigerians, is now a minister in the Federal Capital Territory. Eh? Looking for office or office to be a minister of information, which he said he will regulate social media <laughs> in Nigeria. <laughs> Minority leader, Senator Simon uh, Mark, uh, okay, Madu Kwan, uh, Kwan has tackled a former Lagos State Commissioner of Information and Strategy, uh, Dele Alake, during his ministerial screening on the floor of the Senate. Alake, who is one of the 28 ministerial nominees of President Bolame Tunumbu for screening, was the former director 
of Strategic Communication of All Poverty Congress APC Presidential Campaign Council. A lawmaker from Plateau North, Central District, claimed that Alake Labe supporters of opposition presidential candidates as white dogs during the last presidential election. Mark what, uh, Ma when okay, Ma Madu Kwan, Madu Kwan. Now this kind of name safe. Eh? Now wow, Mister Nominee, a lot of accolades have been showered on you from your CV, curriculum VT. You have done credibly well for Nigeria, especially in the struggle for democracy. I am convinced. Seated as senators here, the issue of our political parties is secondary. We are senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I am saying this because of the question I want to ask you. Therefore, any question coming from me should be taken that it is coming from a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and not from the minority Senate. My question is that I heard you, sir. You said as a writer or as a journalist, you are an image maker. You speak out of inspiration and conviction. You talked about social media too. I have read on social media your statement concerning other political parties during the election. The Senate president there, uh, thereafter sustained the points of order by Adamu and the leader of the Senate, uh, Senate, Abayemi Bamidele, spoke for the Kitty State Kakus in the upper chamber. Bamidele deferred with Adamu and raised order 55, order 12, saying that no senator will interrupt another senator unless to call attention to a point of order or privilege suddenly arising. We are screening minist uh, ministerial nominees and we are not supposed to bring an issue in issue that have come and gone, Bamidele said, after which Akbabio upheld his point of order. Magodon later took to the floor and further asked the nominee to recite the second stanza of the national anthem. Bamidele again tackled Magodon and said that the Plateau senator had brought politics into the screening by asking that Alake recite the national anthem that other nominees have not been asked to recite. <laughs> the Kiti Central lawmaker asked Akwabio to expunge the request, and the Senate president did just so. We are here to do a serious business on how to move this country forward, and not necessarily to sing songs. Akwabio said, adding that all lawmakers and nominees know the two stanzas of the national anthem by heart. Addressing Alake, Akwabio said, We have watched you over the years, and we don't have any doubt about your capacity to handle any portfolio. The Senate president subsequently asked that Alake take a bow and the gesture ended about one hour exercise. He said, I read a statement where you label supporters of patriotic presidential candidates as white dogs. Have you come across that statement? Are you aware of it? Did you say that? After my question, Senate President Goswil Ababio on his colleagues to avoid campaign issues saying campaigns are over and the questions must be nationalized, uh, national, na, uh, nationalistic and not partisan. Makodon continued and insisted that Alake answer whether it is true or not that he labelled opponents of his principal as white dogs during the election process earlier this year. However, Papio interjected and asked that his colleague move to his second question. In the ensuring interruptions and the murmurs from the floor, Senator Mahmoud Adamu from KB Central raised order 55 that no senator is allowed to make any noise or interrupt or a speaker uh, a speaking senator. He said, there were so many interruptions from the other side while Liz Magodon was making his point. Face to Sakpamo, where are you? <laughs> Now you only walk nice to the praise and to the support of uh, uh, fresh uh, nominees. Where are you? Where do you stand? Where, where do they nominate you? Nowhere. After shouting, after all the noise during the electoral process. So this is how they are use you and dump you. Very soon now you will become from APC and join PDP. I am very sure of that. You and your uh, shouters, and they, that the hungry uh, FFK. Nothing for you people. Even by Anonoga. Only I like it. I that I go get brain. That means you people have been used. Eh? They have left you behind. <laughs> Former Minister of State for Labor and Employment, Fetus Akbamo, has described the new ministerial nominees uh, of Bolamo Bolamo Tunumbu as excellent choices.
former governor that can't account for anything. Even a meta wale of uh, San Francisco State, 70 billion naira uh, 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 um, charges is hanging on his neck. And you call him perfect, excellent. <laughs> APC, All Poverty Congress, Chief Ten. Now, that was reported that Tunumbu on Wednesday transmitted an additional 19 uh, list of ministerial nominees to the Senate for screening and confirmation. Recall that Abamo has been a subject of mockery since the first batch of the ministerial list was sent to the Senate. Even the second batch again, nothing for him. The ex minister was also excluded from the supplementary list and he is yet to secure any appointment from the current administration considering his role during the 2023 presidential election. All bothered about the trolls and mockery online, Abamo in a post via Twitter congratulated the nominees and wished them God's guidance in their various assignments. He tweeted, the second batch of ministerial nominees by Bolame Tunumbu at official batch are excellent choices. Congratulations to all of them, wishing them God's guidance in their various assignments. You will be in jail if coup happens. Meanwhile, Facebook's Akbamu has warned Nigerians against comparing the flaws during the just concluded 2023 election in the country to the recent coup in the Republic of Niger. According to him, many Nigerians who go on social media to get clicks and likes will go to jail should a coup happen in the country. Recall that Nigeria's military general Abdurrahman Hamani Tichani declared himself as the new head of the transnational uh, transnational. Uh, uh, government in the West African country. Reacting to the development, Abamo in a tweet on Saturday morning said a coup the attack could not be a solution to disputed elections in Africa. Abamo urged everyone, whether as members of the opposition or the ruling or progressive congress party, to outrightly reject and condemn the coup in the in the Niger Republic, according to Fesus Abamo. The last but not the least, Sheung Yeni Kuti Pe Dribut to Anikola Kofela 26 years after his demise. Afro B singer Shenkiti has taken to social media to pay tribute to his father, Fela Anikola Kokuti, on the 26th memorial of his death. The 40 year old said in a message posted on Instagram on Wednesday that yesterday was hard, but today is better. Elea, October 15, 1938, to August 2, 1997. Yesterday was hard. Today is better. Love you always. Same road. Yeni, the first child of the Afrobeat legend, also laid as siblings in tribute to their father on the 26th memorial of his dead. The 62-year-old dancer, singer, and the broadcaster posted her tribute on social media on Wednesday. Sharing a, a, a carousel of pictures showing Fela his mom, Fumilayo Ransom Kuti, Brother Prof. Ulu Koye, Ransom Kuti, and others, Yeni Kuti as well, uh, wrote, The many faces of Fela, August 2nd, 1907, we shall never forget. Fela as a young man, Fela as a guy wearing earrings with JK, his best friend, with Uncle Koye. Fela's other children are Femi Kuti, Kunle Kuti, Shalewa Kuti, Monturayo Kuti, and Let Sola Kuti. Fela died of age on the August 2 of 1997, 1997 at the age of 58, according to the news we have here. So my wonderful people, viewers and subscribers, now here we will take a career wakaya and I go with the go so. If you never subscribe to my channel, do that anytime soon. Like my content, share it, move it to the any part of the world that you can do. And hey, I will surely appreciate you for that because it is not a what it is not easy so make on a do what the certificate until you hear my voice again i still remain okute daily talk bye for now my wonderful people okay messiano please do not forget to subscribe like share comment on my content it is very very important and very very necessary may the good lord bless us all bye bye for now until you hear from me again in, in my next broadcast okay,